Yeah. 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 So many lies that you hear from the net, they don't get her respect. She report in the truth, not a check. You wanna unbiased opinion straight from the chest. Not a bit of conflict or someone here for a check. Tune in, these are thoughts from a lawyer on a mission who goes so hard, it's like she works on commission. Trolls in the comments might say she tripping cause they lack the knowledge. They don't know they missing. Got a couple current events that you like. Wanna know about law from the eyes? Tired of all these blogs running lies Because they agendas are disguised Tune in to the intellect Cause I'm sure y'all missing All the facts of the case That she steady is gifted Someone here for the people Man, it's so uplifting If you ain't subscribed yet Then you just omitting facts Hello, everyone. It is Pam Esquire, also known as your law intellect. It is Saturday. This has been a hot Saturday in these YouTube streets. I just don't even know how to explain it. If you have cable, you probably haven't watched any of it today because YouTube has been on fire. And part of that is thanks to phone calls from prison. So I just said today, I said, guys, I'm so behind on my work. I'm just going to work real hard today and try to catch up. I'm going to try to stay off of YouTube. And then I said, well, let me go ahead because YouTube is addictive, man. It's always somebody in these YouTube streets and you start listening. Then you get distracted and you forget what you were doing and all of that. I'm guilty of that. So I was trying my best not to get on YouTube. So I get on, I click on YouTube. I see phone calls from prison is on. There's the video. I said, okay. Let me see what they're talking about. So I missed the first 15 minutes. But when I get on this stream, I hear about a blogger, according to Sonia, who allegedly sent her pictures of one of the victims. I was like, what? I could not believe it. The chat went crazy. Everybody went wild because we, we, I'm not going to say I can't believe it. And let me tell you why. If you guys watch me on my other channel, I have discussed this other blogger where I was watching the way they were moving. For me, people could tell me anything about somebody. People have DM'd me about a lot of other bloggers. Some of it has been true. Some of it has been to cause dissension and all of that. So just because your personality may not click with them doesn't mean that mine won't. So I hold myself... I don't ignore what people say, but I, I, I watch out and I judge for myself. It's never, I don't like you because you don't like me. I've never been like that. Even in school, I was never like that. So I started looking and just peeping in every now and then just to see this person. And I was like, I thought it was quite strange when on one of the blogs, and this is what made me say, oh, okay. When I mark you, it's a wrap. Like, I already know how it is. And I told them on my channel, I'm like, people that's like that, you mark them and you keep it moving because those people are dangerous, in my opinion. So, one of the one of the lives, this person said, you know why they have not indicted on the, and we're talking about Ernest Williams, for those of y'all that don't know. Do you know the reason why they haven't indicted him on the SA charges? Let me tell you why. They can't find her. And I was like, how the hell you know? That was the first thing that came to my head. You cannot tell me the prosecutor is giving you information. So from that moment, I was like, okay, there's some type of cahoots going on here is what I, you know, speculate. Then they go on to put up all this information about the alleged victim's family what the auntie did, what the, the auntie slash grandma, what the mama did. And I'm like, well, how is this relevant? So now we're bashing the family. I'm like, so I'm so confused here. I would, but I wasn't confused because I knew what was up. So from that moment on, I already knew what was up. And I said it on my other channel. I said, this person is, is, is talking to earnest people. 
this person is talking to Sonya. I think it's obvious. It's going to be people from her chat. And I'll deal with you when you come. But I need you to be prepared. When you decide to stick up for this person, be prepared to have your argument on 10. Because, baby, y'all have never put out all the stuff that people had tried to send me ever on no day because that's not what I do over here. I'm sticking to the law. However, it was pretty concerning is the best word to hear that someone would say, do you know what the person looks like? Y'all got to see the video. If you have not seen this video, you're going to be like, what? So some of this video I'm going to be seeing for the first time with you guys. And um, we're going to discuss it. We're going to discuss it. I tried to come on as early as possible. I really was going to pull the 11 o'clock on y'all. And then I said, you know, I can't stop the saints from going to church in the morning. So let me go ahead and get on right now. But I, let's get into it. Let's just get into it. That's just my intro. That's all I got for right now because I'm still a little flabbergasted. So this is a phone call, which was January 8th of 2024, which was about a month ago, right before Ernesto's birthday. This is a video, a video, a visit, rather. Visit between Ernesto and Sonia on January 8th, 2024. You will hear them talk about the calls being on YouTube and his case. Sonia also says that she's been talking with the blogger. Take a listen. Hey, man. How are you? How are you doing, beautiful? They got you sitting kind of low. <laughs> she was cracking on me, too, about my donut. It's still low, right? It's still low. It's the, it's the angle of this camera. It's kind of like oh. this. I'm so tired today. How are you? Good. Did you get some sleep last night? Why? Because you're anxious. <laughs> okay. No, I went uh, out. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. So, all right. So, don't you do no comment until I get done. Don't do no comment. I'm just gonna talk. You guys gotta pay attention to this. So he basically telling her you be talking too much. So I'm gonna need you to listen to what I'm telling you. That's what he's saying. I need you to listen to what I'm telling you and you don't say a word so I can get this out. Go ahead, Ernest. Tell her, tell her what you want to say. All right. So mm -hmm. now um, you don't have to uh, contact the lawyers, no, that lawyer no more. Right. Don't call my lawyers no dang on more because Pam Esquire been over here talking about how how. <laughs> How my wife been paying for the lawyer and then been charged for those calls. And you probably getting on the lawyer's nerves. So just don't even call them no more. All right. Don't contact them no more. You're uh, the ones her, that came her. to see you. Yeah. Okay. Don't contact. All right. You have permission to call him only. Okay. To talk to him. He wants you to talk to him only. You know who I'm talking about? The, uh, um, Detective. The, I mean, um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, no, his name Doug. Okay. Y'all want to know who Doug is? Doug is the investigator that works for the public defender's office. Since we're trying to talk in code. Pam, how do you know who Doug is? Because Doug reached out to me via email back in November. So he knew all about these calls. He knew about all of this stuff back then. Okay. Doug is the, is the private investigator for the public defender's office. That's who dug it. So now you can't talk to the lawyers, but you can talk to the PI. That's what he just said. Just in case y'all ain't picked that up and know what he was talking about. Doug, I'm talking to D. Whatever, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. He wants you to call him uh, today when you get a chance so y'all can get a better understanding. And he broke it down with he, the reason why he told you that. You know what I'm saying? But that was just, that was just a, 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 a scare tactic because they didn't know what was going on until they went to I went to court that day and found out this shit is all over the goddamn world. Scare tactic. So apparently they have called her and told her you doing all this stuff and putting this stuff out is not helping your little situation. 
So he said he wants to explain it to him. And let me tell you, Doug has tried to reach out to people. Again, I was reached out to. I didn't respond to Doug because I already knew what was up. So I ain't never respond to him. However, I do know who he is because his name was at the bottom of the email with his name and his information. Um, but I think it's interesting because, again, I had an email back in November or I told it was beginning of November, like maybe the first or the second or something like that. So Doug and them and, and, and his attorney was CC, Hannah. That's how I knew who he was. That's how I knew who Doug was. And so they knew this back in November because they reached out. So it's a lie to say that he didn't know how big this was until they went to court. No, they reached out to people before that. So that is not true. But go ahead, Ernest. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, the blogs and all that, they didn't know that until I went to court for my uh, bond hearing last time. Uh -huh. So they didn't, they didn't know what was going I, on. They, they knew. I told her. But go ahead. I told her in an email before court. Yeah, they knew. Now that she's right about that because I was contacted via email. Go ahead. She don't read the emails, but go ahead. Okay. But well, anyway, so that's what it is. So don't, don't. You well, she definitely must have read the emails or read something. She knew about it regardless. Whether there was emails being read or whatever, they knew about it regardless. We don't have to talk to them no more period um just talk to him okay just talk to him so sonia luther king you've been demoted to talk to the investigator and you can't talk to the lawyers no more because you're getting on their nerves this is what i told you guys i said there is no way in the hell she would be contacting me like that on behalf of nobody that would never happen on no day so i thought that was quite strange and i said that before this whole video is very telling because a lot of things is what I've told you guys before and it just confirms what I was saying. Damn, don't say her no more shit, no more nothing. Mm. Let, let him know we're not, you're not going to correspond with them no more because first of all, you don't trust the, the government. All that shit the same. Okay. Uh, oh, I, no. All right. So next off, um, they got mad at me because they said that I sent something out saying that they lied, that the lawyer lied. I didn't send them anything. They said the email was sent them saying I said to you that they was lying. So they brought the that, paper and let That you lied about, that they lied about what? They, they was lying. They was, they was lying. But it, that, that was email was talking about. Did he, did he tell you what the lie was? Let me explain something to you, what I'm saying to you. What I'm saying is this guy... Didn't I tell y'all she was talking too dang on much? Did I not say a lot of stuff that she is saying is just not going to be beneficial to him? I said that. I said that. I was like, a lot of stuff that, that she talking about just ain't it. I said that. Go ahead, Ernest. Let her know what else is going on in code as much as you can, thinking we can't decipher it. Go ahead. I was talking about the first lawyer, uh, Lewis. Real. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it didn't have no name on it. It just said lawyer. So they took that and ran it with it. Them. Yes. So that was said, man, we ain't dealing with that no more. They got all. So uh, the things that I had showed about the legal work, the paperwork that I showed coming out of the books I've been reading and all that. So that email, it was emailed to them as well. <laughs> so the email, so they got mad and trying to tell me this and that, but they gave me the answer. The answer is that I already, I already read in the book. You can put all these motions in, but they still have they're still going to deny it anyway, unless you have a real probable cause. So they got to work on all. You understand that? No, I don't understand, but we're going to see if Sonya Luther King understands. And then Pam Esquire, who went to law school, is going to break it down to you how it really works. Okay. So they did not know that them folks put all them bonds into one bond. They didn't even know that either. So that's supposed to be worked on today. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, today. So look at her face. She got an attitude. She mad. <laughs> they cutting you out. That's pretty much what they said. They cutting you out of this whole. You not a part of the legal team no more. 
uh, when you leave, go ahead and contact uh, Mr. Man and let him know. Cause this what they all he tried to Sally tried to discourage me, talking about, oh, it's embarrassing, man. It's embarrassing how you got you looking out there, man. And the law, you got this guy lawyers come all the way from Pennsylvania saying that you're gonna have you're gonna get a life sentence. Who said that shit? That what he that what he said. It's all on the internet. Is you gonna get a license and you ain't getting out? Nobody's really vouching for you. Oh yes, you. So you tell him. You see how you see how this is the total opposite. How Sonya had him thinking that. Oh, you you got supporters out here on this here internet. You got a whole lot of supporters. So he was like, Yeah, this is the time. We need to do a movie. You need to go ahead. This is why Ernest was moving like he was moving because of how she misinformed him of how these internet streets were moving. And now you have a PI person or whoever was working on his case who's been looking at this stuff and like, dude, you you not out here where they people windmilling for you? Today that I'm going to, I'm not going to stay with Dion. I'm not dealing with it now. I'm going to stay with you because he asked me that and asked me if I had some bond money. I told him I ain't got what what I'm supposed to have. Everybody done left. But you calling everybody else broke and telling them they sit at home all day and they don't have a job. That's why we on YouTube. But go ahead, Ernest. Yeah, and they took everything. Yeah. So what Did you, you talking about? about that? No, I didn't. I ain't get that far. We ain't get that far. Uh, they brought me all my warrants. They brought me all my warrants. So I, once I read all this shit, that shit got me looking like a real motherfucking monster, a psychopath. Which ones you talking about? All of them. If you look out all to me, I to me, at them all. Well, to me, I'm the way. You don't think so? She thinks that all the stuff she read is civil, anyway. <laughs> she like monster. I don't think that. I I'm looking because I never saw him. I, oh. I never saw. Him. All right, so then they said that they don't, they couldn't um, get the transcripts. They're gonna try to get them this month, but uh, they they haven't got that yet. And that's kind of basically it. So the day the court day, said, yeah, you look tired today. <laughs> basically, you look like hell. I appreciate you coming to visit me, but you look bad right now. It's, it's you look rough. <laughs> All right, so you got all, you got everything, you got everything that was going on. So um, that's it. Now you shoot on. Better what? What? You, now you can talk. Now you can talk. Then you, we ain't got to talk about that no more. Okay, and next thing about the person that you was talking about that the call, I never got that yet. But that person you said that won the case, that person, they they all together, all them people together, which I, I know. know that. Yeah, yeah. That all? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Ooh, but they, he, but they still. Go ahead. But, but this person is not going to be the lead. Uh, so it sounds like there is a group of them, which I feel better about, honestly, that if because Hannah is a newer attorney, perhaps they have her doing these kind of template or mundane things like arraignments, preliminary examinations and bond hearings. So when it comes to getting into the, the crime of the crime, like you're actually indicted, perhaps there's other lawyers, like it's a group of them. So she must have seen a lawyer that got somebody off. So apparently they're all in this same group that work for this defense office. So that's what it sounds like he's talking about. Lead person. That, somebody else would be the lead person. That person you're talking about, they're all together. Yeah, but you just don't want Hannah and uh, on like even the blogger told me she said the girl was shaking in court. So who was in court that would have saw the blogger? Y'all ain't gotta put the name in the chat, but let's just deduce here. Who was in the court that videotaped this that would have had a conversation and talked about the lawyer shaking in court? Because I took the recording. I, that was one time I wasn't there. Remember, I went to Atlanta one time and they postponed it. And then the next time they actually held it. And there's only one blogger that was there recording it. One thing I'm not going to do, I'm not going to lie to you at all. I'm not making I'm this not, shit up. I, I, no, no, no. I'm not saying you. I'm saying that's no, what Daniel no, no, said. No. Or Doug, whatever his name is, he gonna say, "Oh, she didn't. Sh she wasn't shaking in court." I'm like, 
Okay. But you know what, Sonya, whether she was shaking, whether she was trembling, whatever she was doing, she passed the bar. Hannah passed the bar. She has her license. She ain't out here faking the funk like she's an attorney. She actually is licensed to be one and has a job with the public defender's office. And she representing your boo. So, so he just sitting there. Oh, okay. He just made that up. And uh, she right beside him. Okay. Then on top of that is uh, he said we got a little bit on the side that he going to tell me that uh, I don't have a niece that's writing him. It's <laughs> and I said so this is how much they don't believe Ernest whoever this the PI person is or whoever he said they got a side bet because he must be getting letters or something from someone that's saying they are the niece of Ernest but apparently it must not be that for real <laughs> that's really Sonya <laughs> look here man I, I, I owe you a Chick-fil-A sandwich because they open on Sundays right now to, to pay her so you can give her a free meal that that is not her that is my niece well you know I don't believe it and this is this. I said now you don't know what you're person. talking about yeah but they don't believe it and I tell them I don't care if you believe it I said they're going to meet you with this person I want you to bring a Chick-fil-A sandwich a little fake credit card <laughs> that's all I told her so make sure you bring that up what I said I, I said right. that by the Chick Fil A, so you yeah, know. You think I it's know. a fake person? <laughs> she exists. <laughs> She's your niece. <laughs> she on live right now, saying they want that block. Well, who else was in the courtroom that that you having a conversation with? I cut it out. Uh, I know, but he don't. He know what he said, and, and also they just don't believe, and they're saying that. Uh, he, 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 I said, man, you, you're reading stuff three months behind, man. You're three months behind, man. You don't know what the mm -hmm. fuck is going on. Then you start laughing. Then you're talking about, uh, you, you're only worth $75 now. That's what people done gave you so far. Oh, on the GoFundMe, it's $90. <laughs> and she think that's funny. So you told this man, that's why I'm saying. A lot of this stuff, he was being gaslit too because he thought she was out here. And I said, if you really look at what she's really done, she has not done much of anything. And so you start a GoFundMe because you had him believing that he would get a bunch of people on his side for that. And then it didn't go nowhere except for people giving $5 here and there so they can give him a piece of their mind. That's pretty much all people donated for. And then all of it ended up getting released back to them. So you got your his team saying, Dang, you only got seventy five dollars in the GoFundMe. You looking bad out here. Like you doing this GoFundMe made him look worse because he can't even raise raise two hundred dollars. And you trying to turn this into a joke? I don't think it's funny. I said that's all you work. It's embarrassing. I that's what you said. Because I of what said, they put out there and how they how them bloggers turned everybody. You know they had you out here being a monster to, when it first came out. Yeah. Yeah, I, cool. I, just, I mean, what did you expect? Well, I said, you know what? I just looked out. I'm not gonna let you discourage me, brother. I'm not gonna let you discourage me. So nope. it's just a, I, I done sent them all them letters because I was right. Everything I'm saying is right. And, and but the I'm saying, say so you can't do nothing for me until I get. Thank you, Miss Audie, for the super sticker. I appreciate you. Oh, uh, fully. That's what the other guy said. No, that's what Pam said. If you guys recall, <laughs> the only thing he really can get right now is he can get a bond. That's why when she kept saying bond or dismissal, bond or dismissal, I'm like, he's not even indicted yet. But let's go on. They can still push for a dismissal or charge, can't they? Oh, now you want to ask if that's if that's a possibility. Okay. Yeah, but here's the thing. They got to find a proper cause. And then right now they got to, because they don't, they can file all day long, but they don't have a true probable cause for that the judge is going to go on the DA side. I don't even know what that means. Who got to find probable cause? So what I think he's trying to articulate is how this goes. The way that you can get some, some things dismissed, but usually it's when you have an indictment. So if probable cause is found, then what you do is you try to say you don't have probable cause and you try to quash whatever it is and you say, um, this is the reason why there's no probable cause there. Therefore, it should be dismissed pretty much, much what a preliminary examination is in the alternative. Say, for instance, they got a warrant 
the warrant was done illegally the warrant was not done proper protocol they lied in the um, sworn affidavit in the warrant whatever and your attorney can prove that if they have it then you can do a motion to suppress and if that happens then anything that you get from that warrant so say for instance you get a warrant to search my house you come in my house you find stolen property in my house and you're able to trace it to stolen property that was reported to the police as being stolen from someone's home i get a lawyer who is able to show that this was an illegal search this warrant should not have been there the judge agrees with me and suppresses it so that means anything any fruits that you find from that search you did in my house you can't use any of it it's all inadmissible when that happens if that's your sole evidence obviously you have to dismiss my case so there are ways to dismiss the case <laughs> but i think he's trying to explain it or whatever but again he's still unindicted so really all he has right now and we looked at the statute even if they give you even if you're unindicted for 90 days 120 whatever days he's saying they're only obligated to give you a bond each charge has different statutes of limitation when you talk about essay charges you have way longer to prosecute than you would for a petty theft so if you are accused of unaliving someone there is no statute if they find out you did it 50 years from now that's why they have cold case you guys watch cold case files that's why they can come and they can find stuff from the 80s and they'll find you at 70 using these dna and genetic things that people do now that a lot of times the fbi uses those now so they can like do lineage from old ra kits from the 70s and be like oh this person who tried to do ancestry then their cousins or a close proximity to this person on and that could have been 50 years ago so there is no statute so as long as you have something that was out there that was dismissed without prejudice, they can bring it back whenever they want to, as long as it's within the statute of limitation. And as I said, unaliving cases don't have a statute of limitation. So let's continue. So they got to find they got to find a, a, a true problem cause, or else it's just a waste of time, which I have already read that too. I'm gonna ask. So you always asking somebody. Okay, all right. So now I'm just hoping I get a bond, uh, a reasonable bond, so I can figure out how to bond out of here. Other than that, I'll be. So he does have a hearing on the 23rd, and the the hearing is for the most. The other cases did did get thrown out. I haven't seen the order, so I don't know because their system was still down. So I don't know what I don't know any of the information behind why they dismissed it saw speculation for anybody that talks about it but it was dismissed and i'm sure he felt a bit relieved when that occurred um when it comes to this essay he does have a hearing for bond coming up now what may happen is what happened before right they, they may come up to some agreement of some sort which would be a consent bond which is what they did on the trump case where they don't even they, the lawyers confer and they come up to something they agree with and then the judge just adopts it if you guys agree on both sides or could be a dismissal like it was last time i don't know but we're gonna get into that in a minute because i think this is where i jumped on he's sitting here so fucking long they need to dismiss those two cases those heavy ones yeah but i don't think about it Thank you so much for the gifting. I missed sister to sister. Thank you so much for gifting the 10 memberships. I appreciate you. Welcome all the intellects. Make sure you thank her if you were the recipient of the free memberships. That is so dope. I thank you so much for being so kind. This is all of that shit. Because of chicks for civil. Chicks for civil. <laughs> Why is that funny to me every time she says that? Yeah, yeah, I got, I, I got, I got that part. But I'm, yeah. I'm just, I'm Look just. Look at him. I got that part. Like, stop saying that. I think that's so tired of her saying this civil. He said, "I got that part." Telling you what's, what's my um, option that I have right now. That's all. So go ahead on. Oh, oh man. 
<laughs> yeah, don't I look old as a motherfucker right now? <laughs> you look old. I look tired. <laughs> I know you're going. I am tired, and I'm supposed to go out tonight too. I'm like, I don't think I can do it. <laughs> what? What? I'm gonna ask you, girl. What is the purpose of all of that going out? What? What did you just have fun or? What is it? Because I've been sitting in the house so long. I've been in my house for, what, two years? Just really not. Um, AKA, don't you think you're too old to be going out? <laughs> Read between the lines. <laughs> don't you think you're a bit too old to be going out? <laughs> doing anything. Okay. So because I used to be more active, I don't want to get into a funk where I just, because it's just right. me no, sitting around the house by myself. So it's like. I got you. So no, I ain't no wrong with that. I'm saying, is it, are you, are you, uh, is it? So they're not releasing them. Some of the stuff that they have on Ernest, I, they may be now, but when I first was trying to get some of the information, they gave me a lot of information at first and then they blocked it. So, and it was considered because it was under investigation. So when it's under investigation, they can use that as an excuse not to let some things out. And so I did request any body cams, I believe, on this case. I asked for so much stuff on all these cases for y'all, I can't remember. But I'm almost positive that I requested it and they weren't giving anything anymore out or giving that out specifically. Helping you? Is it therapy? Is it, is it, are you having a good time? Or, I mean, are you meeting new people? I that, fun. Okay. I have fun when I go out. Oh, okay. Hey, I'm just... He tried... <laughs> I would have hung up on him and walked away. Thank you so much, Miss Bougie Down, for the $5 super sticker. I appreciate that. I think I had one before. Aqua Queen, welcome so much to the intellects. I appreciate you. Patrice, you gave your girl $5 too. I thank you so much. You said hit the like button for our girl. Thank you, Pammy Pam. I thank you, Patrice, for coming over here to Club Intellect on A. We have a night court. Linda Mack, thank you for the $5. You said, I'm having a nervous breakdown. All the bloggers are live at the same time. <laughs> I was going to come on late. I was going to come on after everybody. But then, y'all know I have to do things uh, consistent to when people go to sleep. Latanya, welcome. Thank you so much. Crystal is a new member. Thank you. Sheila, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Let's get on with the show. Just acting, you know, I can't go nowhere, so I'm just asking. Yeah, I, get, I have fun when I go out. Mm -hmm. People tell me I'm cute. Yeah, yeah, okay, well, okay, well, I guess my <laughs> eyes, I guess my eyes just be on something else than what I'm talking. I'll just be running my mouth. Yeah. Well, I thank you guys for choosing. It's 1,200 of you guys. Make sure you hit that like button. I thank you guys for choosing, being over here. I know you had so many valuable and great choices to go to. So I do not take it lightly. For real. Yeah. Stop I just, yeah. So I guess really, when I say that on the telephone, I'm just, I just be talking. So. <laughs> oh my God. So the blogger sent me a picture. Of what? Of the girl, the young girl. What? She be all on her page. She, she, we was talking and she was telling me something. And I was like, well, I don't know who who anybody looks like because I've never met anybody when he was out. I'm never, I've only seen him by himself. She was like, oh, I'll send you a picture of her. And I was like, you really don't have to. I don't need to see her. There's no need. She sent me like four pictures of her. <laughs> okay, I see you got your little glasses on. Look at him. You see how fast he tried to, she cannot pick up signal. He immediately was like, you trying to make me go to jail? You trying to stop me from getting up? If you don't be quiet, I see you with your glasses. <laughs> he changed the subject immediately. Oh, okay. You can keep your some little fly glasses on change. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. I was looking at her and I was like, mm, okay. But she's living her best life now. She's up Look, in New York. She's still trying to talk. So she ain't coming. He changed the subject. And she started right back. Let me go back a little bit. He changed the subject and she started right back talking about it. Yeah. I was looking at her and I was like, mm, okay. 
But she's living her best life now. She's up in New York. So you done put out here on the phones for the forget us for the prosecutors to hear that you know where she allegedly fled to, which goes back to what I said in that live where this specific blogger said, you know why they haven't indicted her? Because she's gone, y'all. She out of town. Is that just a coincidence? That this blogger said this, and then she's letting you guys know that she's in New York. And then I'm not, I, it, according to what you guys are saying, she's denying that there's any connection there. Maybe she don't know that that blogger did a live and was talking about how the girl was gone and they was out of town. But let's go on. She ain't coming back. She ain't coming back. And said what state the girl was in. She is on there living her best life. Folks are looking and following her page so you can get a play-by-play -play of what this girl is doing. And y'all sitting up here, think, I wouldn't come back neither. Why would I, why would I want to come back? And I got some crazy people out here, some people that are stalking me on social media, looking up my family's background, Putting up my family's picture, allegedly, I ain't see it, but somebody told me that somebody's picture was put up. Know where I'm at, and y'all think that I'm going to come out here to court and show my face just all willy-nilly without a subpoena. It's a lot of people that are alleged victims. They don't even want to come forward at all, and people don't even know who they are. Never heard of them. You be sitting in court, they don't know who they are. And you believe that if somebody knows that people are looking into their life and their world, it was bad enough, in my opinion, when they talked about the family. But now it's specific to this girl and where she's at. Oh, she's living her best life. What you think she's supposed to stay in the funk for her whole life and be sad? I was just outdone. I had to pick. This is the part I came in. I couldn't even like. I was like, what just happened? Well, you know, I also, I, also, I also was reading, too, uh, how do they work is they pay people. They pay people, get them flights, they get them hotels. They do all that. They do all of that. So he said that ain't necessarily so because they might have had her leave and she almost on witness protection because she said she's scared and they the one paying for her. <laughs> They'll pay for her to come back here and testify. So he ain't necessarily even just taking in everything Sonya has to say. If, if this, okay, so if everything you said on the text is, is true, the PPP and the scamming and all that stuff. Were See, and this is why Judge Banning said you ain't even supposed to have no iPads. Because basically you conversing, giving her information that's allowing her to look up other witnesses or other alleged victims or whatever it is with the information that you've given her. That's, that may be partly why she said you don't even need any. You shouldn't have had an iPad in the first place. You're not a Cobb County inmate. You are a Fulton County inmate. They're just holding you. Fulton County does not have iPads, so you shouldn't have one either. But her mama, she ain't coming back. She ain't coming I, back. I'm not making this up, man. Listen, I'm not saying if she's a scammer like her mama and, and and all of that shit, I think her her father may have sent Nesto got sweat coming down. <laughs> He's scratching his head. Let me go back. Look at this scratch. He he like girl, can you shut the hell up? That's what he wanna she say. She ain't coming I, back. I'm not making this up, man. Listen, I'm not I'm making saying if she's a scammer like her mama and, and look at her. Look at her. <laughs> You got Nesto nerves bad. You you got Nesto. Nesto is over there. His nerves are bad right now. He cannot believe some of the things that come out of your mouth. And all of that shit. I think her her father may have sent her just so that she needed a fresh start or she a hot mess down here. Or either she met the dude and he took her up there. The white guy she went now. Ain't no telling. But you know, he ain't saying nothing, but she wants him to co-sign and 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 validate her statements. And he like, 
he want to be like, I ain't say that. She said that. That's what he wants to say. <laughs> if it come down to it and this video gets played in front of some people, i.e. the judge, and you hope, you better hope this doesn't get played in front of Judge Adams. You better hope. If this does not get played or whatever, he want to say, I ain't say nothing. That was her talking. She don't have nothing to do with my case. I, I was telling her to be quiet. <laughs> I think that's the thing because when they said that crap in court about, oh, she's scared. She, we can't get her to come in. That's their, their playoff. Is she talking slower? Is that just me? It took a little minute to get. She's scared, and that's their playoff on what they're doing. For yeah, she ain't answering the phone no more. That's what that is. We keep trying to call her, and she ain't, she ain't gonna show up. And what well, they I, do, I, I didn't hear that part. I didn't hear that part. <laughs> he told her, I didn't hear that part. You said that's what happened in court. I didn't hear that when I was in court. I didn't hear that. That's listen, that's what it is. Why they said that shit in court because they can't say the truth that we can't get her on the phone and she refused to this, that, and the other. So they're trying to, to make again make you look fucked up. So he's saying when they said she's scared and she, you know, she's scared to come or whatever and she's scared of him, that basically that was cold word for she ain't answering the phone and she left the state. That was that's what Sonia Luther King has come up with and interpreted it as. They're trying to say, oh, she's so terrified. So how is she terrified with a thug-ass family? Her whole family. What do her having a family that's allegedly a thug, quote-unquote, got to do with this whole situation? She's not worried about her, her family doing anything to her. <laughs> what was the point? What was the point of bringing up whether her family is thug are thugs or not? I family is thugged out. Thugged out. So what you scared of? You know, I'm like. I heard that. Nestle said, "Uh." <laughs> like whatever. But the question, the question wasn't answered. The question wasn't answered when I asked. But and you gotta hit And her father was here. Look, he said the question I asked you wasn't answered. What you got hit at? Cause I'm, he tried to do everything, and here she go. But her father. <laughs> in um january because he had a case with cobb county you got a headache anyway. you got a headache I'm going to bed after this i got so much to do today <laughs> oh, i need a nap i'm supposed to take my son's car to go get an oil change i got to pick katie up from school take her to the hair store because her just want you to be quiet. That's it. Birthdays. Your birthday's tomorrow. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay. Okay. I guess I'll look at a movie or something. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Okay. Well, that'll work. That'll work. Then that'll keep me going. That'll keep me going. Okay. Okay. You don't weigh yourself out now. Don't weigh yourself out. I'm gonna stay home tonight because I want to go to Magic City. I've never been. This is a, I've going? never been, and I wanted to go. I just don't want no chick dancing up. I don't do all of that dancing up on me bullshit. Like no, I don't do strippers. <laughs> like I, I don't even like to look at the shit, you know. But it's your birthday. You're funny. You're funny. Next year. Oh my god, you old man. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I just hope I'll be out of here by the way before. We'll be out before summer. We out before summer. Yeah. We'll so what? Summer. What about your uh, your, your cleaning thing? You start working name, on that. Listen. The the blogger. She been trying to interview Roswell Police about your case. They're not gonna say nothing, of course, but they know all eyes is on your case. So that everything and anything they do is gotta be correct. They can't be pulling the bullshit like they've been doing when you first got arrested with all the bullshit they've been doing. Because eh, eh, everybody's looking at it. The whole mistress thing is getting old. You do know that it's already in the hands of the DA, right? You do know that. <laughs> you do know that. Well, so now they're going to focus on your case. 
Uh, there ain't too many people care nothing about that. I mean, you know, I just don't. 32,000 views on a phone call? 32,000 people listening on a boring ass phone call? We ain't talking about shit. It's not phone sex or or fuck her and be with me. Type. It ain't none of that. It, it's, it's nothing. It's, hey, what you doing? It's, it's dumb shit. And they tuning in. I don't agree, Sonya. It's been some pretty interesting, especially these video calls. They are very interesting. They are not boring. Yeah, they'll listen to that and then they'll look, tune in for the next one. All these calls, you got over, right now, for all the calls she's released, you got over a million views just on the phone calls. That's crazy. What? I and mean, it ain't even like... You wasn't even famous. wasn't like you were some famous ass rapper and you did some shit and you talking to somebody else who's famous. It's like two nobodies talking on the phone about what? That's what I'm saying. Like, why are y'all so <sighs> cool on this shit? It's crazy. No, this case is very interesting. How bloggers have pulled themselves into this is very interesting. The interpretations of the law that you guys have made up is very interesting to me. You got I mean, we're we're over here on the legal aspect. We're the social media jurors, so it's very interesting. We are more in tune over here, I guess, to your the aspects of your case. You just happen to be thrown in there, so I agree. You guys are two nobodies. So I agree with that. But then you got the investigative bloggers, the one who pulled all my information out, and then you got this one that come that comes to court with you. Um. And she says she spoke to your your um, investigator. This one that comes to court with you, she says she spoke to the investigator. Ask yourself, who has been to court with Nesto? Which bloggers have said that they've been to court with Nesto when he's been there? Just ask yourself that. Because he was asking her in court, you know, who was she and why was she there and all of that. And that happened because, again, that's what they wanted to know about, like, my interest in this and why I was requesting certain things. And I reached out to a couple of blogs and I was like, dang, did you guys get any contact from the public defender's office? And I was told that they did, too. So, therefore, we, we can kind of deduce who this person was. I don't like when people try to insult my intelligence at all. It's all a process of elimination. It doesn't take a genius. <laughs> Well, I do got some. I do know that right now, the way they change the laws, that they can't that they can't stop the uh, the media from broadcasting anything now. That's a new law out now. It ain't new. It's always been in this here United States of America Constitution. It's not new. You have a right for the public. That's why when the pandemic happened, I'll give you a little tidbit. The reason why a lot of these cases are on Zoom. And on YouTube, it's because when the pandemic shut, when the pandemic shut everything down, it shut down our courts. However, the public still has the right to view all court hearings. So therefore, they made a way of which they can stream it. Now, most of the times they take it down because all they have to do is make the hearing available. So that's why the whole streaming thing happened in the first place. Now, once they opened up the courts, they don't necessarily have to put it on YouTube anymore. So like Judge Adams, she very rarely, if ever, does anything on YouTube anymore. She does everything in person because all the restrictions are down. And I think Fulton County, they have restrictions a little bit longer. Like they were putting in orders. They had different orders for the court uh, related to COVID on indictments, speedy trials, all of that stuff. That's why they're able, at, at one point, they were able to not follow. It was like a halt on doing speedy trials even though somebody could put in a speedy trial request because of the pandemic so that is a constitutional thing and then that's why they do in fulton county what's called rule 20 well in georgia they do like rule 22s which is for the media and you tell them what you're trying to um whether you're trying to take pictures you have to get permission that's why i didn't stream judge manning till i got permission so you either have to get like, um, you ask to stream it. Some don't want you to stream, but they will allow you to videotape it. 
So I'm just want you to do recordings as long as it's not a a distraction. Um, and then when they when they actually deny the media, you can file motions and say that it's unconstitutional. So in the in the Madam DA Fonnie Willis situation, when everyone found out that Nathan Wade, the special prosecutor, his divorce case was under seal, the media. <laughs> They did a motion to unseal it and said that it was improper because there's protocol. You can't just consent to seal documents from the public. And the judge had to agree and unsealed it immediately that day because it was sealed like with consent or something like that. But it has to be protocol because we all we all are entitled as the public to view these documents. We are all entitled to view the hearings. We are all entitled, as you see, in a lot of states, the phone calls. And I didn't know that. I thought it was, but because I, I was reading the book saying that you, it's my right. But right no, now, that's better. I, you know why that's better? Because you go to trial, and these girls know they face gotta be on TV. It's already a big case, so it's like. So, sister to sister said, since Judge Adams does everything in person, does that mean we won't be able to see the February twenty third hearing? Nope. Um, what happened is if someone rec see what happened is the last time she had a hearing back in September, November, I can't remember when it was, but Sylvia was the one that was there and recorded it. That's why if you hear her talk about the blogger that's there and da 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 da, Sylvia was there and recorded it. And then she did share at first, she had it where she had her watermark through, you know, all through it, had her name through it. And a lot of people didn't really play it because she had like all through it was. This is infamous Sylvia all the way through it. But then she did share. She did share the video. Like I asked her, I told her I wasn't going to fly in if she was going to record it. I wasn't going to fly in. I'll just get her recording if she would be so kind and I'll do it on my platform. So, no, unless you're there and, and, and the judge has to give you permission to record it. Sometimes they'll tell you free to come in and watch, but we ain't letting you record right now. It's just, and Judge Adams is a very, um, very good judge. Very good. But she's no nonsense. She should, she definitely should be on the federal bench because she reminds me of a federal judge. But um, thank you so much. I see all the new memberships coming up in through here. Let me see what I missed. Tiffany, thank you so much for becoming a member. I appreciate that. But I think, Ja'Kayla, thank you so much for becoming a member. I appreciate you. So it's very interesting how he's kind of telling her what he's learned on how this really goes as opposed to things that she was trying to tell him. Remember she told him he was going to be able to sue everybody? Going to sue everybody? <laughs> we were all getting sued. You get a lawsuit. You get a lawsuit. You get a lawsuit. All right, you gotta come, you gotta sit on that stand and tell all your business. Now she's saying, I think it should be strained because now the victims, the alleged victims, gonna have to come and they know it's gonna be publicized. Now she's trying to flip it that it's a good thing that's out here because now she knows we're gonna stream the trial and then you got to put your face out there for people to see and you got to tell all your business and because you got to tell all your business you are not going to want that that will kind of deter her from wanting to testify that's basically what she's saying it's everything the whole situation whatever it was it's got to come out and a lot of them chicks gonna be like i don't need my face out there like that it ain't even worth it that little money or whatever whatever i turn around and, and get it civilly and be like i don't want to be a part of that shit because it because again it is civil that detective just twisted that shit you leave all key information and turn a, a civil situation into a criminal a crime and that's all that shit is all of that stuff is civil Look how he looking. Look at his face. Take a screenshot, somebody, of this face, and I want y'all to send it to me. <laughs> right now, he's like, what the hell was I thinking? That's what he's thinking. What All I had to do was just talk to this girl on the iPad, and perhaps I would have a wife 
who has way more common, may not know the, the legal system like that, but she doesn't profess to know it either. She don't try to, surely you ain't hear her trying to be Johnny Cochran Jr. You ain't hear her trying to be nothing but Shirley Strawberry. The same way Shirley was on the radio was the same way Shirley was on them calls. And then he can say, you got said, okay, can you give him that 7,500? And it was done. Now you got her that want to blast everybody else about not giving, but you're acknowledging you don't got a damn dime to give them either. I'm not fumbled. Fumble. This is a this is this is the face of someone who know they fumble. They fumble. Yeah, he he would probably be uncollectible. I don't see where the money would come from. You know what, Karen? That is not nice. She said those edges are uncivil. You know what? <laughs> this is why I can't fool up with y'all because I know we're going to be on here for a minute. I'm really trying to break, break down the legal aspects of things and get a little, you know, intellect in here along with our little shadiness. And you guys always just, it ends up being a tad bit more shady than, you know, than the, than the legal part. Except for um, that shit with Erica, that's not civil. But when you get your when you speak, she said that's a crime. She said, "Well, Erica, that's a damn crime. That is not civil." <laughs> she said, "That's not civil. Come on, come on, so yeah." She said, "That is not civil." Your piece on that, it'll shed light to it, to what it really is. You know, what I'm saying. Instead of look at him. Look at it. <laughs> Hey, Nesto. <laughs> Trying to make you the, the uh, ring leader of all everything. But I didn't get the I didn't get the answer why don't folks said they need to let it go. Uh, the media is saying they need to let it go, but I'm trying to figure out why. Thank you so much, Cable Nita. I appreciate that. She gets a five memberships. Thank you so much and welcome to everyone. There's welcome, 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 welcome. Why uh, they're saying that now? Oh, because you think about everything. Me, she's having to phone me for two hours. To do talking what? About, talking about your case. Talking about your case. Okay, let's go back a little bit, because I was, I was thinking. Why uh, they're saying that now? Hey, wait a minute. Everything. But I didn't get the I didn't get the answer why don't folks said they need to let it go. Uh, the media is saying they let, need to let it go, but I'm trying to figure out why they well, Somebody in the media said they need to let it go. I don't know who said that, but I guess we're going to find out. So that's what he's saying. He's trying to understand why somebody in the media is saying they need to let it go. Saying that now. Oh, because you think about everything. Me, she's having to phone me for two hours. To do talking what? About, talking about your case. Talking about your case. But then the main one put up there talking about I'm a, uh. They, <laughs> right. Well, she wasn't, but her little group girls was, because she's in that little group with them bitches. So who are you talking about? So if you're saying that it ain't who everybody's saying it is, the little group with them itches in it. It's only a group of women that talk about this Ernesto thing that they call it a group or a comrade. My bad. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I kicked myself out the studio. But if you're saying that it's all oh, it's a group, then who are you talking about? Who are we talking about? So we already know who in the group. Let's just use our, our, our reasoning, our analytical skills. We all know what group they talking about. So who could she be talking about? You Y'all think she talked to Nyla? Y'all know she ain't talked to me. <laughs> Listen, wait a minute. 
Hold on. I got to try to slow this chat down. Apparently, you guys are going in. Let me see. Hold on. Let me figure out. I've done this before. I don't know. Let me see. Can't remember how I did it last time. Not coming up. So y'all tell me who you think it is. I'm sorry. I was trying to figure out how to do this. Slow it down a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead. But she oh. supposedly loved Jesus more than the rest of them. So uh, who love who is more saved over here on YouTube? Who is more saved than any of us? Huh? Who professes? That's why I told y'all when people think they most saved the next person, mark them. Because a lot of times they be worse than the next person that don't even profess Jesus Christ. Who say they more saved than the rest of them? Hmm? I'm a godly person. I would never. I try to just, you know, I hope he gets his justice. I believe God put you in his life for a hold reason. Up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. That's what we said. I'm a godly person. Huh? I believe God put you in his life for a reason. Did she not say that on the interview? Huh? Did she not say that on the interview? Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is the reason. This is, hold on, hold on. This is the person that you're talking about right now. The one, the one talking about uh, with uh, Amen. You're talking about Amen. No, no, that's no. It's a couple of them that's on the Amen. This is another one. This is the one that came to court. Who was? This is the one that came to court. We know that Amen is Nyla always say Amen. We know who who we talking about with that. This is the one that came to court. So I don't know what, what live did she do where she tried to separate herself from this conversation for two hours. Because it's very clear. But I, court. Uh, but, uh, his time, I didn't never ask these people to do nothing for me like that. They just came on their own. I don't know how they... Oh, of course. Because of yeah. the beginning in March when that one guy put the story out and everybody piggybacked off of it and then everybody kept seeing all the views and attention it was getting. So somebody else got on and somebody else. Thank you, Speak Less. I appreciate the super chat. She said, please put a lock on the medicine cabinet. You know what? I, I, listen, we're just, we ain't saying, I'm not saying no names. I'm just saying, let's just deduct. Let's just do process of elimination from the context clues that she's giving. She went to court. She prayed for. Him. She said, I'm going to be, uh, what she said, God sent her to him. She said that on her platform. I didn't say that. She said, that's what ticked a lot of people off. I heard that and I still was like, well, we ain't going to have no, no bashing. We're not going to bash this person. You know, everybody can have their differences of opinion. My breaking point was the putting the information up because I know it's absolutely improper. And as a lawyer, I'm just like, yeah, no, there are some people that I'm just not even, no, that's not going to happen. I'm not going to be, a, I don't want no parts of that. Remember when Shirley came to court, she talking about Shirley. I, Shirley never came to court. I ain't never seen Shirley in no court. That video I saw was not Shirley. So I, I don't know nothing about Shirley coming to no court. 
Listen, I'm saying I'm just saying that's what we do over here. We do we we actually analyze. We we listen to all the clues. We have an open mind. We don't just point fingers. We don't just blame nobody. That ain't what we do over here. So I'm just saying. So for somebody to say, and I don't know, that's what I was told that she basically said she was not talking about this person in this video. Who you? Scott on you got over 20 bloggers posting on this on a regular trying to find one little thing and then they'll make a three hour this one girl did a three hour video i'm like what the fuck is she talking about for three hours i don't know if it was alive or what i don't think it was alive but just that's the one that was going in talking calling me all kind of hoes and strippers she called me a stripper man you're funny. <laughs> <laughs> they call me a stripper. Oh, Some of you be worried about the wrong stuff. You just can't, you worried about the wrong stuff right here. I ain't oh. never stripped. Uh, I ain't well, never been nobody okay. stripper. You ain't never. That's what you got to hold on to when you was messing with somebody that was somebody else's husband. You are concerned that somebody. You are concerned that somebody is equating you to a fantasy where a lot of times people that are on the pole may not sleep with you. You're just a fantasy. But you've admitted on phone calls and after that that you slept with somebody else's husband. But um, you fighting over whether you a stripper or not, whether somebody's accusing you of being a stripper and that ain't nothing you ever did. You, you grasping for straws, sis. You really are grasping for straws at this point. Thank you so much. JD said three hours. It was a live song. <laughs> Thank you for the $20, JD. I appreciate you. He said, I'm trying to hit this chat. It is moving fast. I thought I slowed it down. Maybe not. Oh, Lord. He said, I like that you keep it professional. We don't have to talk about her looks. No, I don't got, I don't, listen, I'm not. He said it. He said she looked tired. So he basically, that's what he was saying. But no, I don't. It, and it's not personal. You know what I'm saying? She's, she, when she got in my chat, that was the only time I had to really get her together. And like sending like her, I believe, I believe she has little fake pages and stuff because it's just random when I have some of these crazy conversations in my chat. And I don't mind people having a difference of opinion. But then when you go and you spread misinformation in the chat, you know, like with other people, I have to block you, you know, but especially if it's misinformation regarding the law. Like I am not a gossip type blogger. Of course, there is some shade and there's some gossip in every case because you have a factual statement. In every case, there are facts and facts. You know, it's been many of shows like Law and Order. And how to get away with murder. It's been a whole lot of great cases based off of real, a whole lot of shows based off of cases. So that'll let you know that it is drama to it. Because they may, it wouldn't be so many legal drama shows if it didn't draw people's attention. However, primarily, I'm trying to, to educate. Hey, Marla. Hey. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. You can't worry about this shit. Yeah. yeah, right. That's right. It'll be all right. So I just now, right now I just gotta feel this focus on give me a bond now. Uh, well, somebody can bond me out of something. Somebody. They gonna bond. They gonna drop all that 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 stupid. They know for a certainty. See what they gotta do is get your phone, um, because your text messages and the they police can't know. do that. They can't do that. <laughs> like shut the hell up. Quit telling me what need to be done. I'm sick of you. That shit takes a while. I don't, man, talk to the man. He gonna tell you. He gonna tell you. When you talk. Like, will you be quiet? and just, See, he finally, remember before I was telling you guys, it's like she sells him wolf tickets and he listens to it. Be like, That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. See, when you're uh, sitting in jail still almost two years later and you got somebody that's out here allegedly trying to help you and doing this and they know this person, they gonna come, they might take, oh, I just got this in the mail for $45,000. I take out a loan. I can go to the bank right now and I can, I can get an insurance policy. So if he go ahead and he give up his house or something happened to me, I can put the insurance, always just talking and talking fast. He's realized she does not know and not as learned as she was portraying. 
So now he's almost not even letting her finish her sentences with what she's saying to try to hype him up. Where she, he's like cutting her off. He cutting her off at this point. I'll tell him today. Yeah. He might get mad at me, you know. I'll be. Well, he asked for it. He said, "If I need to talk, and you need to talk, talk to him. Don't talk to them other folks no more." That's exactly <laughs> what it. Don't talk to them other folks no more. If you want to talk to me, don't contact this lawyer. Did not tell y'all. I said, "Ain't no way in the world." If I was his lawyer, this chick would be calling me like that. She would not be emailing me the law. She won't be sending me no bullet points telling me what I need to do and which direction I need to go. She 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 would have gotten her feelings hurt. She really would. And that, that's probably kind of what happened. <laughs> it's like she would have got her feelings hurt. So now the investigator guys like, you know what? You want to know anything? Talk to me. You can't even talk directly to the lawyers. I think that's very interesting that the lawyers don't want her to talk to them anymore. And and let him know that to relay that to her. You want to know about the case? Talk to the investigator. That's it. They told me. I just mouth. He said, don't do what? He said he don't want to talk to your niece no more. Yeah, he don't believe he don't believe my niece. He don't believe my niece, period. It's a whole That's what, he could he could Google he, her no, name. No, no, he ain't gotta do all that. No, no. No, he tell me he need to get that goddamn sack together. Tell me I want that lunch. He want that lunch. Make sure he right. feeds his partner. I'll FaceTime him with her right beside me. Like, what's your name? She's gonna be like, Clea. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, no, oh, I'm yeah. going, what I'm saying that's is so I need my bed to be clear. Chocolate? Yeah, okay, that's fine, but I need to let, let it be clear. Then, then when he made a statement talking about uh, calling this person right here coach, we need everybody know who coach <laughs> is. That's what he said to me. I said, I'm what? That on my body. Like, who's right? Like, why he call you coach? Because I got, I'm getting the team together. <laughs> <laughs> Calling the plays for this court oh. situation. Oh, Everybody man. else don't fell back. The coach always stays. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm gathering from this, and again, this is just my speculation and my opinion. When Sonya deleted those those videos and all of that and people were guessing why there was a conversation that did occur with them attorneys and everyone in that office of what her effect may do to his case i think that's what this video was showing us that she has been she has been more hurtful than helpful even though she relates to him oh i'm gonna start my channel and it's gonna raise i'm gonna get five thousand dollars for whatever fifty thousand clicks or whatever she said I'm going to get five. Oh, the GoFundMe. Oh, we're going to be able to raise a lot. It's people in the chat. And they're like, they railroading this guy. They railroading this guy. Oh, them the people you need to hook up. Somebody wrote a whole soliloquy in my comments and they must know somebody because they knew all your information. They knew this. They knew that. Had him all. He was like, for real? I know who that might be. That might be someone. So you need to connect with them. That's who you need to hook up with. Ask Ernesto, has she ever hooked up with this fan or person that was in the chat, giving her all this information that was supposed to be beneficial to him and that he was being railroaded. See, he done sat back and thought. He done thought about all of this stuff like, man, she telling, she's selling people wolf tickets like I do. <laughs> this chick make promises she can't keep just like me. <laughs> She playing me on me. <laughs> this is, man, I can't believe I'm in here for some shit I don't even understand. Or it's just it's confusing to me. This shit is confusing. I ain't lying. When you have a criminal past, you have to watch how you move and who you associate yourself with. They can turn anything into a crime and then throw your past out there and people will sign off on it because, oh, he did this, so this must be true. What? And it's all about numbers with these police departments. Oh, they got this quota. What quota they got, girl? Are they on the streets? Now, if you were saying they out in the police cars, right, and they trying to write tickets or something, yes, they do have quotas from my understanding. They will pull you over over there in them good suburbs because they're trying to get quotas. But you're saying they got quotas on how many arrests that they do? 
their, their statistics are trying to get crime solved. If a crime is committed, they want to make sure there is they don't have a bunch of unsolved cases and cold cases. They want to reduce crime. You know what? This is why this sounds ridiculous to me. You know what chiefs do when they come out and they want to talk about uh, how why they should keep their job? They put out statistics. Last year, Detroit was number one in homicides. Since so-and-so went into office, now they're number four. It has been reduced by 20%. They want to reduce crime. They're the police. Why the hell they want to get more arrests? <laughs> Oh, we need so many arrests and they need so many this. That's why a lot of people stay out the suburbs because they know how the police operate. They stay in the city where it's peaceful. <laughs> stay the fuck out the suburbs. Well, Shit is even the white people in Roswell complain about Roswell. Did, did she just say, I'm just really thinking about this. Did she just say that they want to make their crime higher for their arrests? No, they want to make that they want to make it that they had a lower, lower burglaries, lower car theft, lower assaults. Low, they want to show the statistics of how many were reported and how it's lower. Then once it's lowered, they want to see how many convictions that they don't have cold cases. That's the statistics we look at when we say that our police chief and our departments are doing well. Not. Oh, you arrested 100,000 people. Well, dang, look like crime is running rapid over where you're at. Why are you arresting that many people? So you know that's a fucked up city. If the white folks is complaining. Well. That shit um, is crazy. It corrupts. It just, it just, it's, it's, just, it's just a sad part. I can't really talk Happy like I want to talk. Happy birthday. Go ahead. But anyway, yeah, I just said that I can't really talk like I need to talk because I'm being okay. I'm being uh, scrutinized on everything I say. You right, Ernest. And what you need to do is you need to tell Sonia, I'm being scrutinized, which means you're being scrutinized too. That's why I have my legal team, the only ones that are coming, that can really do something for me in court because you can't because you're not licensed. The ones that are licensed that can actually do something for me, whether I believe they're not doing enough or whatever it is. That's why I told them I'll, I'll let you know. He told them he was going to calm you down and he was going to talk to you. That's why when you sat in that chair, the first thing that man said was, don't say nothing. Let me tell you what I got to say. Don't call them people. And them people was the lawyers this time. Don't call them people. Not now no more. So he's telling you not to. He's, he's saying he don't want to talk. But you keep running your mouth. And you bringing up your conversations on iPads, which means that if he said anything on iPad, you're repeating it to, for us to hear it. This is just. So that's another thing. So I can't even speak my piece. I can't I can't get no help, no nothing. That's what I was trying to tell. Oh, boy, Mr. D. But you had help. You had your wife. Your wife was sitting back. And was giving all she had. Didn't understand what was going. But they don't have anything, Ernest. I don't understand. This is crazy to me. They took her car and embarrassed her at the beauty salon. And she still talked to you after that. She still talked to you. She would not talk to the police. They said, you don't know who your husband is. She was like, I, he's a monster. No, he's not. They're making it seem like you're a monster. They don't know you. She had your back and her back came with a paycheck because she got paid very handsomely for her job and you blew it. You fumbled it. Why? Because it was cute for you to flirt with somebody on the phone who has not done anything for you for real. That's why I'm saying Shirley don't even have to do nothing. Life has a way of giving you what you deserve. <laughs> Life has a funny way of giving you what you deserve. So now you're sitting here talking about, I don't nobody got, can't do nothing for me. I can't say nothing. I can't do. What did I say, guys? Before, when we first started uh, talking about a lot of this stuff, I said, listen, I'm not 
not going to give out free legal advice. I don't do give out advice on this channel at all. Even the people that have called me or whatever, personally, I don't do that. That's not what it is. I talk generally almost in a teaching type format with a little humor. Some of it's funny, some of it's not. And that's what I do over here. But I said, if she paid attention, it wasn't because I wasn't coming for her at all. I have nothing against her. If you pay attention and you listen to the things that I say, I guarantee it will help you. I said, you're talking too much. Your best way to help him is behind the scenes. Get all the experts, whatever you're doing. That shouldn't be nothing you talk about on the phone. Nothing you talk about that's recorded. Nothing, you know, maybe a letter or whatever, but it shouldn't be nothing that you talk about. You should be as incognito as much as, as possible, but you were too busy trying to prove to this married man. This was somebody else's husband. Well, I don't even know about that no more because allegedly he said he ain't filed the marriage license on the last video. So I don't even, I can't even say that anymore. So I don't, I don't even know. He said he don't know if he married. So I guess I don't know if he married either now. Now we all knew that he was still married to somebody else to Martha in 2021 and then allegedly again I, that wasn't my my uh breaking of a story that was chronicle speaks about the first wife but he mentioned on another video that he was like I thought I was married for eight years and he said something about a marriage license so I don't even know that so perhaps she ain't sleeping with a married man I don't know let me let me <laughs> he said it Jan he said it he said it he said it. When Sonya talked too much and ran off the first lawyer, Shirley paid a second retainer to get him a new lawyer. Aqua Queen, she she did. And people could call her stupid or whatever, but I'ma say, and people will say, like, I think she had to know that. There are a lot of people, like I said, that have plausible deniability. They turn around. And they act like they don't seek because they don't want to know. So they don't try to know. And I think that's what she did a lot. But you cannot take away that Shirley was acting like a good wife. She supported that man. She kept it a secret. A lot of people didn't even know he was even in jail. I, she tried to stay as incognito as possible. She was everywhere. Oh, hey, honey. She, where are you at? Oh, I'm at the restaurant. Okay, let me go outside and talk to you. Hey, honey. I'm at the car lot. I mean, she was answering his phone calls. She learned how to put money on the books. Never done that before. She was sending $7,000 increments to his lawyer. She believed everything that man said. She didn't question or challenge and didn't believe he would lie to her. Oops. You said, hi, hon. <laughs> He blew it. You you blew it. You blew it, Ernest. You blew it. You blew it, Ernie. In my in my Drake voice. You you blew it, Ernie. You blew it. She she was uh she was really she really had your back, man. That's why I said it's real unfortunate. But all of this stuff he's telling her, I'm not shocked. I told you guys, I was like, nah, ain't no lawyer going to be putting up with. I'm going to email her tonight. Every other call, I'm going to email her tonight. I'm going to give her this. I'm going to give her that. They probably like, who the hell is she? Oh, just, just the chick that he best. Then they're able to find out who she was off of our channel talking about her. So. Like, yeah, I understand. I say, man, I, it ain't fair to me. It's against my constitution. I can't even talk on the, my own personal calls. I can't even talk on the phone. It's like I'm being handcuffed. I'm being stripped of all my uh, jail rights. Did he say jail rights? He said his constitutional rights are being violated. He can't even talk on the phone. He is being stripped of all his jail rights. The calls say these calls are being recorded. <laughs> You have the right to talk on the phone. You just can't, you just know that you're not just talking to yourself. It's not private. Like if you were on your cell phone, on the landline, this is the jail. Period. You know, no, straight right up. Go. Yeah. It is. I can't even talk. I can't even talk on the phone. That, that, I'm, I'm in jail, but I still should be able to talk on the phone some kind of way. I can't, I, and listen sometimes to the whole fucking world. 
That's what that's why they say your call is being recorded. They let you know that. You can talk on the phone. So they can't even the conversations. Listen, they can't even they can't even put um that shit they call it that constitutes right for the for the uh the media speech. Like call it, speech. Oh. Speech. I, you can't even put a uh, a gag order on that shit. Okay. The judge can't even put a gag no, on what people Because can't stop. if they still talking on the way they talk about Steve, and I was looking at that and he's sitting on millions, he could easily shut them down. If if they talking mad shit about a millionaire. What 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 is she talking if they talking mad shit about a millionaire? What are you even talking about right now? What does that have to do with him being able to be on the phone call? <laughs> so he's talking about not being able to talk on the phone without all of us, you know, listening. She go talking about with if they talking about Steve, then you can't shut them down if they talking about Steve. Freedom of speech is what we're doing as bloggers. You're talking about a phone call. The, the stuff they be talking about, his wife sleeping with the bodyguard and she this and that. And they just, and he ain't put a stop to that. And he got the money to do it. Does he? Yeah. So I was like, it just can't be done. Hmm. Yeah. If they fucking with a millionaire. Hmm. I yeah. So. It, it, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, make sure you call him. Uh, You're going to have so much fun when you get out. Road trip. Yeah, I got to get. Why would you say road trip when you know if he get out, he going to be on bond? <laughs> and it's going to tell you what county you can't leave. Where y'all road tripping to? <laughs> We're going to have so much fun when you get out road trip. Out first. I got to You'll get the out. fuck out. All this shit be behind you. This is a fucking nightmare. Hold on, but hold on. I do want to you understand. I can sit in here for the next five years. You, you do mm -hmm. know that, right? I do. No, 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 no. no. You don't understand. I can sit here without even being indicted. Teacher, you see what I'm saying? She was saying a lot of stuff to him, and he was eating that up. Now he must have had a visit, and the visit, the visitors were lawyers who told him the law and how it works. So all of this stuff she, she been stroking him with. Now he trying to teach her. Ernest, Ernest is sick of you. In my humble opinion. I and that's another thing. That. That, yeah, and they told me that. They broke that shit down and said, man, they can see. They broke that down. Probably how Pam Esquire broke it down a couple months ago. Get you in here and deny all the motion we put in. And still you don't have to be indicted. They can keep you in here that long. Sure can. They broke We're going to think off. on the positive side and that that girl, hopefully. Look, she ain't got nothing to say. We going to be positive side and that that girl. will interview with somebody and tell the truth and say that she lied or that's not what. So you hoping that the girl, the, one of the alleged victims will interview with somebody and confess on somebody's platform that they lied on you. It should. you. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something you want to happen for the prosecutor? Like she go tell the prosecutor, I, I've changed my mind. I don't want to go through with it. Why would you want that to be an interview? Like what? What she said to the police, the police twisted it or whatever the case may be. Well, so oh the God, the truth come on out because that need to come on happen real quick. Because so, this yeah. ain't making no sense to me. Why I'm sitting here... Uh, Ernest is broken now that he's actually talked to real lawyers or or investigators who let him know what it was. Now, that does not mean that there's no hope or whatever. That may not mean, you know, I'm not necessarily saying that everything everybody's saying is true. What I'm saying is you tell them what the real is. She continuously fed him, which I don't think is, I don't think it helps anyone. To keep them in denial and delusion. I think that's crazy to me.
and that's what she did. And I and I kept thinking to myself, I'm like, this dude has got cases from the '90s. He got one in two thousand in the two thousands. How how don't you know how this system works? And it's all pretty much been in Georgia that I've seen. He may have some in other states, but the one that I've seen have been in Georgia. And it just baffled me how he was just allowing her to recreate the law. But that's what he wanted to hear. Like he was, that's what I'm saying. You right. I'm going to be out. Oh, it's out here. You thinking. You thinking. You exactly. I didn't even think about it. it was civil. Look at his whole face and demeanor now that he's had a visit. And they told him what it was. All, right. All she had to do was tell him what I was saying over here. P. Holland said, no to self, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Thank you so much, P. Holland, for the super chat. Uh, Vicky Vale said, it lets you know how square and immature and so not street smart and savvy that Sonya is. She can't comprehend that less is more in his defense. Yeah, she's not. Make us like, and she gave us so much stuff as, as you know, bloggers or whatever. You gave us a lot of stuff. Let us work for it. You shouldn't just be hand handing it to us on a platter with a lot of her videos it was like what are you talking about there were a few vi few videos that i had to just debunk what you said and i kept saying like she's making me into a prosecutor and i ain't never been a prosecutor because i have to let you know no can you overcome it do i think there are a few things that nesto could probably do and could have done a few months ago that could have helped him yeah i do but i mean i ain't his lawyer so <laughs> that's that but the way the statue is read, the way it is, he is only entitled to a bond when he is unindicted. That's it. They don't, just because you've been in there for a hundred and whatever days, they don't have to dismiss you. They only have to give you a bond. So I am happy because a lot of times lawyers don't come see you. And I do have a problem with that because when I did criminal, I saw my client every week. So a lot of times I think maybe some of this stuff could have been, could have been talked about before and squashed. If they would have came to see him. But then on the other hand, this ain't his first rodeo. So I don't understand how, how you don't understand. It seems like you just forgot how the system works. I just think that's ludicrous. You said he needs her and her address. I agree. He said that. He's basically said he don't have nobody but her. Ty, he said Ernesto looking like Moses without the <laughs> Said, oh my gosh. Thank you so much for <laughs> the super chat, Ty. Oh my gosh. Listen, okay, we almost finished. It's only a couple a couple. It's 1800 of you guys. Make sure you hit that like button. The innocent motherfucking man fucked up. It ain't or making her no father sense. speak on it because her dad could speak on it too. It 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 is it's sad. It's some sad shit here, man. How can you uh -huh. wait the fuck up knowing that that's like you shot and killed a motherfucker and then you go and live your life like you ain't never did shit? That ain't make no sense to me. That ain't making no sense. But anyway, don't, don't, I love you don't. very much. Keep your head up. Uh, keep your head up. Yeah, I'm gonna it's keep your my head up. Keep your head up. <laughs> it's your birthday. Yeah, well, going out there and party for me then. Send, yeah. send, me some, send me some pictures of you celebrating it then. How about that tonight? How about mm -hmm. that? I'll go take me a nap. <laughs> uh, I know y'all. Well, well, call it's him when you get in the car. You got Happy his cell phone birthday. number? Happy birthday. Who? Daniel? Douglas? Whatever the yeah, name yeah. is? Yeah. Yeah. Did you did you ask that man? Does he believe that you are innocent? Do not fight this case thinking I did this. What does that matter? <laughs> what does that matter? There are attorneys, and a lot of people ask me that question. There are literally attorneys that want to know if you've done it. There are some attorneys that don't want to know if you did it, and there are some some just let you say whether you did it or not. Either way, if you're a defense attorney, you fight. You fight for your client. That's what your job is. You fight to protect their rights and you put on a good defense. That's just what you do. See, she's always trying to cause some type of dissension. So now, because it looks like this guy, he's telling you to call him. Now you like, you're trying to put in his head. He don't even believe you innocent. Who can, he's, first of all, he's the investigator. If that's who you're talking about, or if it's one of the attorneys, they're going to do their job. 
And that's what you, you give them the information that you can do to help because you can't do a case without the actual defendant, obviously. You give what you can give to help your case behind the scene. That is nothing to put on YouTube. That is nothing to put on social media, period. And that's what you do. Now, you to me, asking that question, in my opinion, you're trying to plant a seed that he, he believes that you're guilty just because you're upset that he is sending you to talk to him and you can't talk to the lead people no more. <laughs> he said, don't talk to these lawyers. <laughs> that tickles me. But I told you I was going to happen. Sheila, thank you so much. You said Sonya's conversations make my brain ant behind it. Oh, no. <laughs> Succeeds that I've heard attorneys say if the person says I didn't do it, oftentimes they did. Um, I, I still stand on when I did criminal defense. All my clients was innocent, so... <laughs> I still stand on that. Every single client I represented was innocent. Now, doing wrongful convictions, do I have a lot of people where I'm looking, you know, well, I get a ton, tons of emails and or people that I've helped and now they want to send their homeboys who was their bunkies or travel with them in all these different jails. Because when you're in prison, you go to different various prisons within the state. And um, I'm probably going to get texts and emails every day. And they all want their homeboys or whatever to get out. And do I believe a lot of them? When they, Everybody in prison has said that they are innocent. Do I believe everybody in prison is innocent? No. <laughs> so I've learned how to decipher between the bull. I almost can tell when you didn't do it in prison. It's a crazy thing. I'm going to say that it may be somewhat of a gift. but. I almost can discern whether you have been wrongfully convicted and railroaded. And I've also had people that I'm like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Then I'll be like, do you believe me? That don't even matter. I'm just going to look at your stuff. I'll look at your transcript, see what happens in the trial court. And that's that. And then I'm writing that letter like, I'm sorry, I could not help you. There's <laughs> nothing I can do for you. <laughs> But I have not met one person in prison that said I absolutely did it. Me personally. Now, I know it's some people that, you know, even people that have pled. There are some people that do plead because there are people, believe it or not, that have pled and have not done it. Because if you are facing 30 years, but somebody tells you if you plead, you've already done two years in jail waiting trial. And somebody tells you if you plead, you get five years. That's a certainty. For the unknown that you're going to get off. If you're facing 25, 30 years and you're 40 years old, you may die in prison. That's how you look at it. So some people do plead because it's just like, I don't want to risk it because you never know what a jury of 12 are going to think. You never know what they're going to do. You could think you had the best case and the jury don't think so. Those are the ones that's hard for you to sleep at night when it's over. And then you can have where you, you have one of the cases that you think is tough and then the jury acquits them. So you never know how people, how, how a jury of your peers will, will go. You said, succeed said, my business law professor said, oftentimes clients lie about almost everything. Well, your business, your business attorney <laughs> seems, seems a little uh, pessimistic here. Jeesh. I'm going to say my clients that I've represented, I believe they were innocent. Everybody laugh when I say that. I say every time, they'll be like, have you ever represented? I'm like, all oh, my clients didn't do it. So I don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> all my clients are good citizens that got railroad. You say, I still don't understand how Casey Anthony got up. You and me both. I, I am really, if I get some time off, I am really going to study that case. Because that was baffling. And because I went, you know, Jose Baez ended up representing Tory Lanez. And you guys know I covered that case in California. And when I saw Jose Baez in action, I was, to say I was unimpressed, I need, I need a better, you know, a stronger word to relay how I felt. 
that he paid, he threw money at Jose Baez like that. And I was unimpressed. I'm like, how did he get Casey Anthony off? It was just interesting. But that's what got his name on the map. And then for anybody watching Casey Anthony, there was a documentary or something where the parents actually took lie detector tests and both passed. That like the father did not do anything to the baby. You know, he was accused. They they switched the theory at trial, which I don't think the parents were even prepared for. They switched the theory at trial that Casey had been essayed by her father and so was the little girl. And they switched the whole theory and made Casey a victim. And I've seen her do interviews and she is very compelling. There are some people that are just great interviewers and witnesses. She's very compelling. But that is definitely a very interesting case. Man, every time I hear a Casey name, I shake my head and want to cry. Yeah, that was, was very interesting. Lady Undertaker said, little Sonya and Time Out going to have to stand in the corner. <laughs> For good and evil said, I remember sending Baez Law from my resume after that trial. <laughs> I think Casey started working for him as, started working for him after that trial too. Very interesting. You said, Casey Anthony is hurt in Palm Beach County, Florida. She dated a local cop. That's what Joyce Johnson said. Oh my. Yeah, Casey, she, she hit a lick. Because she, it's like, I, yeah, I have to look at that because that, that case still baffles me. Maybe it was the charges. That's why you have to be careful what you charge people with because perhaps what was presented at trial, the prosecutor could not satisfy each element, but maybe she should have been charged with something else. You know what I'm saying? So if, if I really, if you try to do attempted murder, but I really, it was just a simple assault because I used my hands, didn't use a weapon. I don't have any skills in boxing, no skills in um, karate to make my hands a lethal weapon. Then, and you charged me with attempted murder just because this person ended up in a coma to somebody else, to like a jury, it might be overkill and they may acquit me because it was just an assault. We just got into a spat or a fight. So I would have to see like what her charges were and all of that. So, you know, it's a lot to, lot to this thing. You said it was an overcharge. Okay, Miss Lady, like, I don't even know what she was charged with. Um, and I love Nancy Grace, man. Nancy Grace was so, she'd be like, and breaking news. Taught mom has been found not guilty. We'll be back in a moment to discuss this devastation in the judicial tort courtroom. And then she'll come back. I want to show pictures of my twins. <laughs> she'll come back showing her twins at the Easter egg hunt and stuff. <laughs> I used to love Nancy Grace. KK said, I watched that trial. He came in and put that pinch of reasonable doubt. Yeah, that's all it takes is reason. All you need is one person. All you need is one person. You got to convince what verse. <laughs> oh, that was a joy. Harold said, I'm getting paid taking care of my sister for right now, but I went on Indeed and I got a job out in Deer Park years ago. Called. Okay, I'm going to think you weren't talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy Grace is breaking news. Talk mom. She had a name for everybody. It was like <laughs> she couldn't stand Casey Anthony. Because she was a former prosecutor. She could not that if she could have tried that case against Ch Casey Anthony herself, she would have dusted off her license, <laughs> came out of retirement, and she would have convicted that girl herself. Thank you, Christy. <laughs> she was funny. Okay, we only got a couple of more minutes left. Let's see. Shit. Okay, well, you ask him then, because I sure asked him. You were supposed no, said, to tell him that shit. Said, no, he said, I ain't nothing I can do until I can see something in front of me. What that tell me? So what you see in front of you now that say I did the shit? Because they went to court he, with no he, evidence. He can't he he can, he, he can answer none of that. He can't answer nothing. 
because they have fastened it. We need the other guy, the guy who the card I sent you. You hear her? Look at her. I told y'all. I'm like, she's trying to get him to feel like that everybody's against you and they're half ass working, and that's why you're still in jail. No, sweetie, he's unindicted. There is only so much they can do. Did they have an which I think the fact that they even have an invest PI on your case says a lot because sometimes they won't even pay for you to have a PI. So why don't you be grateful about that? Be grateful that Doug is even doing work. He clearly trying to investigate something. That's who need to get on it. They need to push Hannah's unqualified self off the case. Uh, Hannah's unqualified self. <laughs> okay, that's enough for her. I can't. I can't. Okay, let me let me go back. I think this video her. contains one video visit between Ernesto. Let me go back here talking about you are innocent. Do not fight this case. Thank you. Okay, well, going out there and for the comedian. Send, yeah. send, me some, send me some pictures of you celebrating it then. How about that tonight? How about that? Play, yeah. Yeah, go take me a nap. <laughs> I, I know y'all. Uh, well, well, call it's him when you get in the car. You got his cell phone number? Happy birthday. Who? Daniel? Douglas? Whatever his yeah, name yeah. is? Yeah. Yeah. Did you did you ask that man? Does he believe that you are innocent? Do not fight this case thinking I did this shit. Okay, well, you ask him then, because I sure asked him. You were supposed no, said, to tell him that was, shit. No, he said, I ain't nothing I can do until I can see something in front of me. What'd that tell me? So what you see in front of you now that say I did the shit? Because they went to court he, with no he, evidence. He, he, couldn't, he, he, he can't answer none of that. He can't answer nothing. Because they have fastened it. We need the other guy, the guy who the card I sent you. That's who need to get on it. They need to push Hannah's unqualified self off gc thank you so much for the super chat she said pam did i miss something he has a new lawyer no what it sounds like is there is a group of lawyers so hannah is newer and so how they may do it and i don't know i don't know if this is how it is but this is what i suspect they have a group of them at this defender's office and perhaps if it gets to a certain point in the litigation process then they'll have more seasoned person that will do the trial and all of that so it sounds like there is a group of people and she has been the one just handling maybe the initial stuff so she's trying to talk about hannah who has a whole law license <laughs> and went to law school we all at one point were new one of the things i said was and and this is probably how they do it so i will have to take that back i was concerned if she was taking this case on her own and I voiced my concern on this platform, I'm like, if she only been working for a year off the bar, she needs to be under someone. That's what I said. When I started working, I when I did my first unaliving case, I had a senior person that was there. I did a lot of the background work. I sat second chair. I watched. I argued motions, argued motions to suppress. I did all of that. And each time that we did it, I did a little bit more until I got to the point where I could handle my own trial. And, and I said the same thing. I think you should never go into something for the first time just because you're a lawyer, because you learn how to be a lawyer by practicing. So I'm not, I don't want to discuss, she's new. We, we've all been, I have not always been practicing over 10 years. Like I had my time where I was new. I had I remember one of the trials I went to, and it was a um one of my first trials, and it was a um family law. Most family law cases like divorce, they settle. You don't go to trial. This attorney, I remember it like it was yesterday. He was like, <laughs> You look like you fresh off the bar. <laughs> you look like a baby and i looked so much younger even though i wasn't like i didn't even graduate from law school till i was in my 30s i didn't go to late this is my second career i did something so i work with people with mental health issues in my 20s that's why i can call it out and then i realized a lot of mental health issues and stuff with the crime whatever so he said that to me like right before i was gonna do the and all it did was motivate me because i was like looking up case he ended up they and his his client ended up having to pay my attorney fees when i got finished because i won 
but he did do that to him. So there, you know, so I, I don't want to like drag her from that sense. Like you're new. Cause everybody was new at one point. I went through that standing in front of a judge and they asked a question. I'm like, what does that even mean? And everybody looking around. I'm like, what is, huh? You know what I'm saying? You, you, you learn. Sometimes you learn from default, from practicing. They can't teach you. You go over a bunch of like law, like books and law, law, laws from the 1800s. Laws that ain't even relevant right now while you're in law school. I think they stretch out them good three years. So they don't teach you how to actually practice. You may have civil procedures, but they usually do it the federal. So a lot of people don't even practice in federal court. So you don't really know your local state stuff until you get out here and you practice. So my concern was to make sure she had somebody under her. And that's what it sounds like. They've explained to her that there is a group of attorneys that is handling his case. And that's what it sounds like. So she still, she doesn't like the, she doesn't like that she has been pushed off to talk to Doug and she got an attitude. So now she's trying to make him mad at Doug. Did you ask him, were you guilty? What did he say? Oh, that says a lot because you don't need nobody on your case. We just don't want Hannah because she unqualified. See, this is the type of stuff where, first of all, you don't have the money to hire anybody. I don't understand how you got all these demands when the taxpayers is paying for this man's defense. You got all these demands from somebody who has probably a 50 person caseload. You got all these demands, but you ain't got a dollar to put towards his defense. She couldn't be telling me all the stuff I need, but she ain't got a dollar to put towards it. That's like you being somebody coming on here talking about, Pam, I am so hungry. And I tell you, oh my God, I'm praying for you. And I put praying hands. No, you don't need prayer. I'm going to give you $10 so you can go order you a pizza. <laughs> like, and that's how she is. You always telling somebody what they should do and which way they should go. But you don't have anything to contribute. This is so annoying. Karen D, that's it. She said, no one can teach you experience. Absolutely. And you're still learning. You still learn. There's always cases go to the United States Supreme Court because there's always some gray area. There's always some in different interpretation. There's always something new. Times have changed. We didn't have all this electronics. As times have changed and technology has changed, the laws have changed. What can you search? You didn't have to worry about searching cell phones, but now you do. Everything is consistently evolving as the world evolves. So can anything happen to the blogger in question? I listen, I don't I don't think it was wise. I'm just gonna say that, Chani. Thank you for the super chat. I don't think it was wise. Um, I think it's it was reckless. Whatever blogger that it was that decided to send pictures, because that's a part of if I were this young lady, you cannot tell me if she's as young, if she's as young as they're saying that she is, you cannot tell me that she is not on the internet. You cannot tell me that she is not on YouTube. When she see Nesto's name and know that there's an affiliation with her, do you not think she clicks on these videos? Do you think she not found out who Sonya was and clicked on her video? So that alone would make you not want to participate in any type of prosecution. And I mean, I don't think it was why. But it was a lot of this stuff was very, very telling. So this video was so telling and it, it actually just confirmed my gut. It just confirmed my gut. It didn't take anybody to do anything to me personally. I just sat back and watched and I was like, oh, I, I mark people. You watch them, you see how they move. And then people are going to always have, they're going to always have individual people that are going to follow them regardless i see people that windmilling in the chat windmilling in the chat and you don't even know who you're windmilling for that's the crazy part so so are all these people that are like windmilling just keep that just keep that 
same posture. That's all I'm going to say. Keep that same posture. Windmilling like it's not. See, you're not a true friend if you don't tell people when they done effed up. You're not a true friend when you don't tell people like that's not a good look. You're not a true friend when you say, wait, what's up with the flip flop? You're not a, few, a true friend when you don't warn them like, whoa, 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 maybe you shouldn't talk about that. You said, Pam, with this guy coming forward, do you think things could be getting ready to move forward or are they just tired of Sonya harassing Hannah? Um, The guy's been there. You're talking about the Doug. Doug is a PI person. He's always been there. Thank you, KK Bonita, for the $5 super chat. He's always been there. So he's not new. Amber, I don't believe Sonya got the pictures from a blogger. I suspect that she found them herself and is creating a new narrative. Well, what I will say is that this specific, well, this one blogger did put up this girl's family. First of all, she discussed a police report of her getting in an accident. Her getting beat up or something. I guess she was driving one of Nestle's cars. Then she put up, she talked about information about the aunt slash mother. Then she put up, and she, she not put up, she talked about, it. I don't think she ever put it on the screen, but I know she talked about it. I was on the in and out, so I don't know. And then she talked about the grandmother. Somebody else told me it was some information about the father. I wasn't there that long, so I don't know how true that is. But um, yeah, so I would be shocked. If that didn't happen, if you're going to do all that to get information about the accident they were in or them getting beat up allegedly and all of that, why would not think that you wouldn't find out what the girl looked like? <laughs> this process of elimination. That's just my opinion, though. When this call was before the video call came out and they thought they were safe on the video. Absolutely. Now they know. Because phone calls from prison says she has the video call where they talked about the video calls are out. So now that's the juiciness on the video calls about to go away too. <laughs> it's a wrap, guys. We're gonna wrap this thing up. We won't get any more real information anymore. But yeah. Okay, y'all, it's 1985. And you guys coming in here like um more than what was here before. I'm trying to get off of here. Shoot. <laughs> all right this is the end of off the case she's not qualified and they know she's not qualified so why would you put somebody on there knowing she's only been in here a year she's not qualified give her a parking ticket or speeding or driving <laughs> now nah, that's too much you don't get parking tickets now nah, i say a dui domestic violence assault that's kind of how you start but she's been in long enough to be upgrading so you kind of start at the bottom and then you upgrade and you add to more serious charges and then they'll give you a felony so they'll start giving you misdemeanors and then they'll get you up to felonies but typically they don't give you court appointed unless they're misdemeanors they ain't giving you no court appointed if no parking tickets she is such a <laughs> just trying to insult people but these are the people he the only people he can have to help him and you're insulting them he need to check her he need to dog check her and stop playing games with her. we know you know how to do it Ernest. allegedly so you need to dog check her <laughs> that's what you give her let her start off with those cases why would you throw something that potentially can be somebody's life in jail and then give it to her and she well, and then you talk to him it. about that. You talk to him about that because he, he he his mind is like stuck on one thing. He was not shaking. On... Dude, everybody in yeah. court says she was shaking. I love you. Happy birthday. I love you too. I love... Thank Slides and socks said these names crack me up. And she's definitely looking like a person in front of the beer and liquor at <laughs> Can a side hen get civilly sued for defamation of her occupation? That's not defamation. That's her opinion. She feels like she is not qualified. And she may not be qualified 
she may not be qualified for um for to do these type of cases. I don't think you should be doing these type of cases and you've only been on for a year. Now, if you have other people that's on there with you and they're going to take lead and you sit second chair, you don't learn unless you get into the game. So I'm not saying she needs to sit on the sideline. <laughs> I think she should participate, but she should probably come in. You know how when you have a basketball game and then they're winning by 30 points and then they put you in because it's only a minute left? That's where she's at right now in these type of cases. So you get her in on police officers. That's basic questioning because she does question police officers when she does these preliminary examinations. So we know she's able to do that. So you get her in on those. Um, she has to watch when is when to object. That's very important. You have to be on your toes because you have to preserve the record just in case you have to appeal. You approach every case that you may not win and you may have to appeal and you want to make a nice clean record for the appellate, appellate attorney if that happens. So she has to learn how to do that. She has to understand that you can't be opening up the door. If you've won certain motions to suppress certain evidence, don't get up there and then open up the door. And then now you got evidence coming in that otherwise wouldn't have come in. That We've seen that happen in a few of these cases that we've covered, i.e. Tory Lanes. That's how Kelsey's video got taken because his attorney opened up the door. Um, Jonathan Majors. Something happened where some text messages ended in because Jonathan Major's attorney accidentally opened up the door. So she's going to have to sit back and watch. And that's OK. We all have. I didn't like come out of law school. Just out here, just winning like that. I ain't going to sit up there and lie to you. I came out here and I had to learn. Well, no, I'm going to take that back. I always been winning, but. I wasn't out here taking these like huge cases and then just like, you know, I had to work my way up to that. I was second chair on a few cases. So he said not a Shirley Raspberry and a Shirley, Shirley Boysenberry, Shirley. But <laughs> you guys with these names, Hannah's going to be OK. I watched her and I've seen her. Honestly, I've watched her and I've seen her get better and she's. You don't want to discourage, especially these newer attorneys. And that certainly was not what I was trying to do when I said I didn't think she was qualified. <laughs> I didn't think she was qualified to take on no RA case. And I still, I stick to that. Not after a year. You don't have the experience. You can't even have, you couldn't have even done a trial for this yet. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't want to be your guinea pig. So yes, I think that she should be able to be second, like a second chair. Have somebody be on there. And then that, that's if it goes that far. The way everybody talking, they know the girl ain't going to show up. So I guess we'll see on the 23rd if the girl ends up showing up or not. He needs to stop calling her. She's the op. She may be working for the press. <laughs> you know what? She definitely is not happy with being told that she can no longer talk to that lawyer. And she needs to just talk to Doug. <laughs> you said third good is not impressed with Sonya. <laughs> oh Lord. Listen, we just we don't Pam. I'm looking for a defamation attorney. Can you recommend? Where is it at? Is it defense? Blaze Brown? Is it what state? Where is it at? Are you trying to are you trying to sue somebody for defamation or do you need to defend against a defamation claim? Let me know. And I'll see if I can help. Gwen said maybe Hannah can nestle to assist since he has more experience. You know what? I'm going to show y'all something real quick because I still got to go through this now that I'm on here before I get up. So you guys know Nesto has sued and I told you guys he sued civilly in the past against when he was in federal prison, he actually sued. <sighs> he actually did sue, sue like the county or something. And I was supposed to go over that. But then this came on and it kind of just took over. Let me see if I got his. Oh, man, I don't even know what I did with the case. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, man, 
don't even think I could find it right now. Wait a minute. Ernest. See if it'll just pop up. Lord knows if it's on my laptop. My laptop look a mess right now. I got way too many cases sitting here. Oh, here it go. Okay. So I'm not going to go over the actual case, but I just, I did want to show you guys something about, so when Nesto was in serving, he was serving his sentence in federal prison. He actually filed a lawsuit against the county. So yeah, he, <laughs> that's why I said, quit trying to act like you don't know how the law thing works. Cause you, he, now he allegedly, I don't know if he got somebody up in here to type this. But this is the lawsuit he actually filed. We have to go over it another time. But I wanted to show you guys, because with Sonya keeps saying, it's civil, it's civil. So while he was in federal prison, there was a warrant for his arrest. And look at these prices. Ja, he was suing for $5 million, $25,000. <laughs> he sued for a million dollars. He said he was about to get paid, baby. He was getting paid. <laughs> Y'all see the prices? It's going to be good when we go over that. <laughs> he said he was about to get paid, okay? Oh, absolutely. One thing we can say is Sonya is, is loyal. She is. And I, I ain't mad at him for talking to her. Like he said, that's all she got. But so this was in Forsyth County where he had a warrant for his arrest, right? Y'all see January 9th, 1965. So y'all know it's him. And this is what he's accused of back then. So while he was in, he was in prison serving his time for, I believe it was bank fraud. He filed a lawsuit against the city that was issuing a warrant for his arrest. Now, in order for you to understand this, I have to start from the beginning. But I just wanted you guys to see what the charge was. So he is accused. It says, um, defendant negotiated a check for $20,000 intended for renovations of a property, which was converted to the defendant's benefits without having completed the renovations in question. So he was accused. And this warrant is from... September 15th of 2005, he was accused of saying, hey, bro, I renovate property. <laughs> Why don't you, it's going to cost, he went in there, looked at the property, allegedly, and said, this looks like a $20,000 project. Why don't you give me that $20,000? And you know what had happened? He allegedly took the $20,000 and didn't do any work. And that was criminal too. You know what that was called? Theft. So, <laughs> and it's still called theft when he accused of it today. Alma, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Hey, Nyla. Hey, girl. Thank you so much for supporting. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you, sis. <laughs> that's why when she says that i'm like where does she get like do you know it's both it could be criminal and civil they're overlapping in criminal and civil like assault you know that can be criminal and civil as we see with krishan rock and with um james wright chanel i talked about that on the other channel it can be civil hey mocha how you guys coming on over here Thank you so much. Yeah, put up your blue hearts for Nyla. Thank you so much, sis, for supporting. But um, so we're going to get to that. I was supposed to do that already, but then this video chat came. So we're going to go over that nice civil lawsuit. That should be fun stuff because he keeps talking about suing everybody. I'm just, okay. 
So, yeah. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for supporting. I hope you guys have a good night. Make sure you hit and, that and like button. And another thing you notice, the first thing they say, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. <laughs> That's what it's all about. After they get them dogs and you out of it, show the dog you out of it. That's the first thing they say. If you like this video, make sure you hit. You have one minute on. remaining. And y'all heard what Dre said. I'm going to holler at you guys. Please enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you guys for supporting. I'll holler at you guys next time. Wow.